Hello Taurus, welcome back to the channel, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or as per usual, if you were just attracted to the title, that is fine as well. There's probably something here for you. Also, please keep in mind, as per usual, it's pertain it could be pertaining to your past, your present, or your potential near future. Please ask your guides and angels, and even your higher self, in knowing what messages are meant for you to keep an open heart as well. Also, it could always be pertaining to people around you or situations happening around you, okay? So, if there's a message in here that's reminding you of a loved one or a friend or co-worker, you might want to forward it to them. Feel free to do so. All right, Taurus, let's see what your overall energy is. The Two of Wands, taking the next step. Bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward bold and ambitious choices so this is coming off as two different things here um relationship wise okay and also you know maybe there's something about your relationships people you were drawn to before you're realizing you're drawn to other ones say like for for example the same sex maybe you're starting to be like oh yeah that's um that's the thing with me now, you know, something just really opening up to you. Also, the career choice. Now, I'm not saying that's what's happening, but that's just an example of what I'm trying to talk about here. Um, also, the career field, you know, moving forward from something else, something that's been weighing you down. Finally quitting that mundane job that you were super unhappy at. Managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black or white. Being charitable. So having a better relationship around income. A better way of thinking with money. Released a lot of those conditioned ideas that you had placed upon you growing up. Of what money and how we're, you know, how we're supposed to make money. And that money is the only way to get things in life, right? No. No, no, no. That's not true, right? Um, I would be super happy if I was in a tent under a bridge. As long as I had my family with me, okay? I, I can be happy anywhere with them. That's like th that Blake Shelton song with Gwen Stefani, Happy Anywhere. You might want to listen to that too. There might be a message in there for you. Anyways. Extremes and how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. So, realizing that maybe you were putting something giving the wrong kind of thing towards a previous relationships all those broken people that were attracted to you you know you're just um you were seeing them in a different light seeing it in a different light reflecting upon it as well and being like oh this is what we did wrong this is how i was viewing it but i needed to be viewing it like this so now i'm going to take this and i'm going to move forward see if there she's pointing handing something to someone over here they're looking that way he's handing something to someone What's this other card? Motivational, inspiring, theatrical. Taking a leadership role. Stepping into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keeping your eye on the big picture. Communicating your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. So you're really focusing on this forward movement, this growth. You're really focusing on growth here. Whether it's with yourself, you know, fighting your demons, laughing at them, or having a sense of uh, focusing on forward movement in the career front, doing what you really love, which really makes your heart sing, focusing on partnerships, you know, it's different for everybody. Finding purpose, I know what I am here to do. I like that. So, for some of you, maybe you've been uh, really like pondering, like, there's got to be more to life than just this. There's got to be more to life than just doing the same thing every day, going to my 9 to 5 and coming home and making dinner and then going to bed. And, you know, like, just realizing a lot of things and, like, really wondering, why are we here? Not just me, but us. Why were we placed upon this earth? Those answers are coming to you, okay? I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah. Um, there could have been a fear mindset, some poverty thinking behind finances and money and how money is supposed to work. Ooh, got to slow down a little bit here. 
a lot of fire energy here though i feel aries leo or sagittarius you could be dealing with one of those you don't have to be we also have the number two and the number four seeing from a higher perspective the eagle maybe the eagle is significant to you i know he is to me thank you eagle for showing up today um seeing from a higher perspective and this one says keep your eyes on the big picture so keep seeing from that higher perspective keep following that intuition each person's road to the inner lord is extraordinary and personal how liberating to listen inside and since moment to moment what's needed so you're really following your gut instincts on things and trusting yourself in matters when maybe people previously had doubted you Taurus they had doubted you and made you feel like you were just completely wrong all the time about anything and everything divine love when you offer everything to the divine with detachment you being a love affair to spirit so letting the cards fall as they may right realizing that there's no sense in worrying or fearing no sense of worrying about the past because it is in the past right we can't change it and there's no reason to worry about something that we know we can't change and then and since trying not to fear the future trying to keep a positive outlook on things i feel is what you're doing be open to receiving good things though if we expect good we're gonna get good if we expect bad we're gonna get fucking bad okay accept what is dying so there could be a relationship around you that is not so great also, there might be that part of you that is finally releasing fear or worry around income. And our egos tend to grieve parts of us that we're letting go. And because we know it no longer serves us, right? And sometimes we get really sad and emotional. So if you're feeling sad, like you feel like you're grieving, this is probably why. If you don't have anything to, you know, grieve about in waking life. Imagine good solutions. And do something different. So this could be, you know, anywhere from taking a different route to work or changing up your mundane routine, right? And I think a lot of you probably already are. I keep looking at this eye right here and then there's an eye right here. So you definitely just listen to that inner guidance. And if you need help trusting it, ask your spirit team and your higher self to help you as well, okay? And your ancestors. Mm. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So I think this is what you're doing, Taurus. You're finally like trusting yourself, standing up and being like, you know, if you know somebody's in the wrong or somebody is wrong about something or they're trying to tell you you're wrong, you're like finally like putting your foot down, putting your chest out and be like, no, this is what's happening. This is how it's going to go down. I know what's going to happen. I know I can, I, I trust myself. I trust my intuition, right? I'm going to put that right there. Message from spirit. Caregiver, we are with you and spirit has its only way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So you're finally taking your heart into your own hands. You're not looking for outside validation to make you feel good about yourself. You're not looking for compliments anymore. You're not looking for somebody to make you feel better about yourself. You're taking it into your own hands and finally being like, this is on me. This is all me. I am the only one that can make myself happy. I'm the only one that can... There are no outside influences. Right? Whew. There's a lot more cards here, Taurus. A lot came out for you today. A herald of change. Being open to change. See, we've got the arms open here. Don't fear change. I don't think you're fearing change anymore. Embrace it, okay? Especially if it's like having to do with coming out of our comfort zone. There's always that sense, that ego going, oh, are you fucking crazy, sis? What are we doing here? There's no way we can do that. 
there's heart healing and sacral chakra going on I think you've done really well on working on your inner child and healing your inner child even if you didn't realize that that's what you were fucking doing <laughs> oh my gosh I was talking about heart healing and look beyond the mind the heart beats beyond the mind the heart beats and look I, I see how these two cards correlate with each other but let me get the book meaning on this one this is a new deck so hold one moment okay so this is kind of a long a long thing and if you don't want to hear me read all of it because look but I'm gonna read all of it for somebody so here's here's what I'm gonna do for you I'm gonna put this card here and whenever I'm done reading it I'm gonna take the card off that way whenever you, if you want to fast forward it and you to know when I'm done reading it this card will be gone okay you're welcome <laughs> all right in the chaos of modern life and the constant fluctuations of our minds, it can be difficult to remember that a sublime sanctuary lies within, yet it is always there. Beneath the ceaseless activity, there is an endless vast spaciousness that restores and connects us to something greater, something that exists outside of time. Something, some might call it eternity. And I'm actually being drawn to skip over and jump to this paragraph way over here. So, the mind sees plans and strategies. The heart feels, responds, senses, and intuits. When we walk the path of the heart, we must feel and respond rather than plan our way. It is a different way to live and create. It is closer to the earth and to the source of life itself. Whoa, I'm going to pause there because I just realized something for myself, though, that I don't really make plans. I, I just kind of feel it out and see how it goes. Now, certain things in waking life, you know, like doctor's appointments and when the kids want to have friends over, they want to go to their, you know, that's, that's different. We make plans for that because we're working with other people and other people make plans, right? But going with the flow and just letting things come towards us and if it's, if it's bad, bad or negative that we consider bad or negative knowing that it has happened for her reason and that there was something to learn and that there was something better that was going to come from that oh okay it is closer to the earth and to the source of life itself it is not for those who are lacking in courage and trust but you are not one of those you are being asked to trust your heart and to drop into it the mind is important but it cannot supplant the heart the role of the mind is to serve the truths of the heart that is to create the spacious chamber of receptiveness into which sacred rhythm of your heartbeat can resound and so we also had you know this divine love when you offer everything to the divine with detachment you begin a love affair and then we have this heart card that's like you know mm, very big message here for you Taurus this oracle comes with guidance for you Deep within you know what to do and you know what is true. It matters not whether the mind and its plan seems to agree with your inner sense. Your willingness to trust your heart and to rebel against fear will serve you well. Let your heart lead you. Be sure of faith and trust in what you feel. Your head and heart have been in conflict at times over the course of your life. This has brought you struggle and sometimes deep suffering. However, this oracle brings you the message that a truce will soon be declared and the appropriate outcome of the mind waving the white flag of surrender is imminent. Soon, if not already, you will finally be feeling that your heart is leading you. You will feel that your mind is learning to follow the guidance of your heart rather than trying to be out front, seeing and sorting everything out in advance in order to be safe. What a relief to let go of this old way. Your mind can become more relaxed and trusting. There will be a period of adjustment as you get used to living without so much foresight, but with more insight, wisdom, and energy in the present moment to create, create, create. So that being said, there will be a period of adjustment. So this could pertain to several different things of how you're integrating this new way of being. It could produ be produced physically. Maybe your eyes are really sensitive to light and sound and you're really sensitive to sound smells um texture just essentially whenever we're integrating in certain areas especially with the third eye we become hypersensitive like a highly sensitive person and you might want to look up those kind of symptoms or yeah symptoms signs of being a highly sensitive person
If you are finding that you cannot plan or strategize as you once did, or you feel that you know less than you have ever known about where you are heading or how you are supposed to get there, then this oracle comes as confirmation that there are healthy signs of a shift from head to heart. From you are not proceeding in error. You are exactly where you are meant to be, doing exactly what you were meant to be doing. You are now in a position that is more powerful than ever because you are allowing yourself to be guided by your heart, a heart that beats in harmony with the heart of all existence. Your affairs are in accord with love, and no matter what may appear to be at times, all is unfolding according to that greater love. You included. Yes! I love it for you. Taurus, following the heart, getting out of that mental mind chatter, right? Ooh, listening to that inner inner little voice, you know, those gut instincts. Be real. You are. You. I think this is you. You have been, you've tried to be pretty real with people in the past, right? But maybe you're realizing that you weren't really real. You were just trying to be real of how they thought you were supposed to be real. Practice gratitude. So again, maybe putting out there, you know, I'm grateful for the running water. I'm grateful for the gas in my car. I'm grateful for the wheels on my car. I'm grateful for the shampoo in this bottle that I'm using to shampoo my hair right now. You know, ah, there's so much, so, so much to be grateful for inside, outside. I'm grateful for my heart. I'm grateful for my eyes. I'm grateful for my nose to be able to smell the beautiful roses and the eyes to be able to see the beautiful roses. You know, there's just a lot. Follow the golden rule. Now, I'm not really sure what that means, and I'm going to look more into that here in just a moment. Like attracts like. So what I was saying earlier about if we're expecting bad, we're going to get bad. If we expect good, we're going to get good. Don't relinquish your power. Don't relinquish it. And it's, oh gosh, dang, I love, whoo. So it's just validating what I was saying earlier about you know, standing on your own two feet and telling somebody, you know, no, I know I'm right. I know I, I'm standing firmly in what I'm believing right now. I'm standing firmly in what my heart is telling me, okay? Even if they're very convincing, no, 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 it's, it's not what you think. It's not like that, whatever, you know, whatever the situation is. But still standing in a place of compassion for them and not judging them, not holding it against them if they are lying, if they're lying to you and you know they are, um, if they've if they've been shady or deceitful to you, you know you're still you're not judging them. Okay, so I had to I had to um, Google this because this card actually came out for somebody in my family last night, and it says the golden rule is the principle of treating others as one wants to be treated. It is a maxim that is found in most religions and cultures. It can be considered an ethic of reciprocity in some religions, although different religions treat it differently. Do unto others as you would have do unto you. Treat others how you want to be treated. I can't believe I didn't know what the golden rule was. But that's okay. I just learned it, right? We just learned it together. So, in closing, we're going to get some more advice for you, Taurus. Protected. Your children are going to be okay in life. Not just okay. I need to mark this out and write great because that's what I'm being drawn to do. <laughs> great. They're great. They're going to be great. They're going to be happy. They're going to be taken care of. They're going to do good. Okay. And I smeared it. So, they are protected from types of harm. Some of your kids are getting back on that right path where they're supposed to be right now, right? Grandkids too. Not just children, but your grandbabies as well. Hug a tree. So, needing to get grounded, being outside, which I think I'm going to go outside after this read. And looking into crystal healing, carrying around a crystal for you, with you um, so you can protect yourself from the energy that people are trying to project towards you. You know, whenever they blatantly lie to our face, that's a negative energy in my book and I don't ever want that in my bubble. Get out of the house and get into nature. So that was just uh, validating and move around more. So getting up, you know, exercising, which I need to do. I need to get out of the house and move. I haven't been out of the house in freaking 
days. One more here. Researching your ancestry. Remember earlier when I said your ancestors were with you? So, ancestors are also known as passed on loved ones. You know, most recent passed on loved ones as well, okay? Taurus, I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to, feel free to comment below what resonated. Until next time, my dears. Love and light.